Hi, I'm Pastor Anthony Dodgers at Higher Things Forgiven 2021. I did a breakaway session here on uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, uh, going further up and further into Narnia, looking at what exactly is C.S. Lewis drawing from and what does he want us to get out of these books? Are they really theology books? Well, no, not exactly. They're, they're fairy tales, but he has some truth to teach us in these stories. At the very end of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, the four kids who are now grown adults, kings and queens of Narnia, chase the white stag. They go on a quest into the woods and they're not sure if they should follow him. They get this feeling that if we follow him, we don't know what's gonna happen next. And that's when they find themselves back in our world through the wardrobe and their kids again. And it kind of raises the question, why did, why did they go on a quest and then the book ends? And I think what Lewis is doing is showing us that actually the quest for truth continues in our world that we go into the Chronicles of Narnia, we go into uh, this fantasy land to get a glimpse of the truth and then continue that quest for the truth in our own lives. Lewis even tips his hand on this at the end of the Voyage of the Dawn Treader when he tells Lucy that they're not gonna be able to come back to Narnia again. And she's sad, but Aslan says, you're gonna get to know me in your world and they're like, wait, Aslan, you're in our world too? And he says, of course I am. He says, this is the very reason that you were brought into Narnia, that by knowing me here for a little while, you may know me better there. And so stories like the Chronicles of Narnia can baptize our imagination so that we get to think and recognize and see the truth of God in the world around us. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.